Hi there. Hello. My name is Ron Z. TP-Link manufactures a growing family of smart home products, including smart Wi-Fi LED bulbs, smart plugs, smart switches, and Wi-Fi cameras. For the past month, I've been testing a TP-Link LB200 smart LED bulb, which is installed over my kitchen table. Initially, I thought this would be a quick review. The LB200, along with other TP-Link smart LED bulb products, works remarkably well and is almost magical, as is the software and voice controls for operating these bulbs. That's why my evaluation turned out to be more comprehensive and lengthy than had been originally anticipated. You are sure to learn useful new tricks from the video. This is an unboxing review, tear down disassembly, and setup tutorial of a free demo unit received from TP Link for testing and feedback as part of their review program. My presentation will give you the flavor of the LB200, illustrate its capabilities, demonstrate how it's set up, and contains tips on using the bulb effectively. The LB200 is rated as a 72 watt incandescent equivalent, but since the LB200 focuses more light downward, our kitchen table is now illuminated better than when the fixture had a 100 watt CFL bulb. Another plus is that the LB200 becomes bright immediately, whereas the CFL bulb required time to warm up. We have multiple ways of turning our LB200 on and off and controlling its brightness. On smartphones and tablets, the LB200 is configured and controlled using TP-Link's free CASA app for Android and Apple iOS. Alexa voice commands also control my LB200. Voice controls are fun to use on Echo and Dot devices. They also work on Fire tablets. Android devices can use several apps to control the LB200 with voice commands. On Windows 10 laptops, TP-Link smart bulbs and plugs can be controlled with the free Home Remote app or the Alexa skill testing tool website. The LB200 also pairs with Google Assistant compatible devices for voice control. What's amazing is that the LB200 over my kitchen table can be controlled from anywhere in the world through the internet. That's complete control from anywhere. For example, I frequently forget to turn off my kitchen light when hurrying out of the house in the morning. With the LB200, it's no problem. Although my office is across town, I can check on my smartphone to see whether that light was left on and I can remotely power it off with one tap on my smartphone. The LB200 includes a TP-Link two-year warranty and free unlimited lifetime technical support by toll-free phone and email, 24 by 7 by 365. TP-Link is a reliable brand and their products are value priced. In fact, TP-Link is the world's number one provider of consumer Wi-Fi networking devices, shipping products to over 120 countries and hundreds of millions of customers. In the retail package are the LB200 Bulb, Quick Start Guide Card, and Technical Support Card. A detailed 13-page user's manual is available for download from the TP-Link website. The LB200 works on AC between 100 and 120 volts at 60 cycles. At maximum illumination, the brightness is 900 lumens, equivalent to a 72 watt incandescent, but at full brightness, it consumes just 12 watts of power. On standby, with the light off, the internal Wi-Fi circuitry uses only 0.42 watts of power. The LB200 produces the same soft white color as an incandescent bulb, 2700 degrees Kelvin, which is perfect for my kitchen table. Illumination is focused with a beam angle of 110 degrees. The base fits any standard E26 lamp socket. It works fine in table lamps, floor lamps, and hanging fixtures. 
The BR30 profile makes it ideal for recessed lighting cans 4 inches and larger. The LB200 operates from 5 to 104 degrees Fahrenheit and a relative humidity to 85%. Weight is 7.8 ounces. The bulb's life is 25,000 hours or 22.8 years based on 3 hours of use a day. The LB200 can be powered on and off and is dimmable via the CASA app, Alexa, Google Assistant, and the Windows 10 Home Remote app. Unlike competing smart bulbs, no hub or other additional hardware needs to be purchased. TP-Link smart bulbs communicate directly with your Wi-Fi router. A proprietary FCC-approved LBM100 minuscule Wi-Fi module is embedded within each bulb. This allows the bulb to communicate directly with your router over 802.11 BGN on 2.4 GHz. This is the best band because smart bulbs need range but use little bandwidth. My LB200 smart bulb is installed several rooms away from a TP-Link arch of C5400 router and it's never disconnected nor had any issues. An LB200 uses 12 watts of electricity and replaces a 72 watt incandescent bulb. Financially, what is the break-even point? How much money can be saved by using an LB200? TP-Link estimates yearly energy costs of the LB200 as $1.45 based on 3 hours of use per day and electricity costing $0.11 cents per kilowatt hour. A 72 watt incandescent bulb would cost $8.67 per year. So the electricity savings in switching to the LB200 from an incandescent is $7.22 per year. I just looked at my electric bill, and in New York City where I live, with surcharges and taxes factored in, my real electricity cost is 21.6 cents per kilowatt hour. The LB200 over my kitchen table is also on for approximately 6 hours per day. So the LB200 saves me $28.35 per year, and my break-even point for an LB200 is around a year. Bulb life is another consideration. With three hours of use a day, an LB200 lasts 22.8 years, whereas the life of a comparable incandescent is less than a year. So for each LB200, you'd have the bother and expense of replacing 23 incandescent bulbs. TP-Link's free CASA app works with Android 4.1 or higher, iOS 9.0 or higher, on smartphones and tablets. LB200 setup and configuration with CASA is simple, intuitive, and quick. Add the device, then give it a friendly name and a customized icon. Select the router's Wi-Fi SSID and enter the password. Your setup is done. A detailed description of the setup process is too long to include here. Rather than get bogged down with details, look at the screenshots in my video. After the LB200 bulb is discovered and appears on the CASA device screen, you'll be able to turn the bulb on and off with the press of a button. A slider can dim brightness and customize lighting to suit your mood. In addition to a device's display, other menu screens are available for device settings, presets and recents, schedule, and energy usage. The schedule menu allows you to set up events that turn the LB200 on and off and customize brightness levels by time and repeating by days of week. Instead of specifying exact times, sunrise or sunset can be chosen. Sunrise and sunset settings are handy because those actual times change and self-adjust each day. To discourage a burglary, I've scheduled my LB200 to automatically turn itself on and off at night and simulate someone being at home when the family is away. A smart bulb might even be used like an alarm clock by turning itself on at sunrise to awaken you. CASA can set up scenes with customized lighting to match your mood. Scenes can incorporate groups of lights with each light at the setting you've chosen. In the CASA app, tap on a scene to enable or disable it. 
Scenes can also be enabled and disabled with voice commands via Alexa and Google Assistant. For example, I created a dinner scene for the LB200 over my kitchen table set to 25% brightness. I just tap that scene on my smartphone to create an intimate and cozy atmosphere before we sit down for dinner. Or I can just use my voice and tell Alexa to turn on that scene. Casa gives you instant access to scenes. Scenes can be named, icons assigned, and their behavior edited. Within a scene, the brightness of each bulb can be specified anywhere from 0 to 100%. Sample templates for scenes are provided. The good morning scene can get you ready for the day by turning on all your bulbs. The good night scene can turn everything off at bedtime. Or you might customize the good night scene by having it turn most lights off while keeping a few dimly lit. A movie's night scene could dim all the lights in a room to 5% for showtime, so you and your guests can enjoy a movie. If your ceiling has multiple LB200s in recessed lighting cans, these bulbs can be grouped into one scene so that they all turn on and off simultaneously. CASA monitors the energy used by each LB200 bulb. Electrical usage and projected energy savings are displayed in kilowatt hours and hours for today, the past seven days, and the past 30 days. Alexa or Google Assistant compatible devices allow hands-free operation. You can control the LB200 and other TP-Link smart bulbs with your voice. Voice commands can power an LB200 on and off and dim it to any level between 0 and 100%. The Listens for Alexa app, aka Alexa Listens, allows all Android smartphones and tablets to control your LB200 and other TP-Link smart home products with voice commands. Listen for Alexa works on Android 5.1 and up. Just say the words and it happens. Alexa, turn on kitchen table light. Okay. Alexa, dim kitchen table light to 25%. Okay. This app is free in the Google Play Store, works well, and is credible. The developer is Will Blash Choco, the Alexa Senior Solutions Architect. The Home Remote app is available for both Android devices and Windows 10. It's free in the Google Play Store and the Microsoft Store. This app gives you manual and Alexa voice control. Home Remote can turn smart bulbs on and off, adjust their brightness, and fine-tune color if a bulb has that capability. The Android and Windows versions work exactly the same. Smartphones and tablets will need Android 5.1 or higher. Even without an internet connection, CASA can control your TP-Link smart bulbs locally. Alexa, Google Assistant, and Home Remote need internet connectivity to work. To experiment with voice commands without even purchasing any hardware or installing any software, just point your browser to the Alexa Skill Testing Tool website. Sign in to echosim.io using your Amazon account, have fun, and you'll see how useful voice commands can be for smart home automation. I hope you found my presentation enjoyable and helpful. Channel subscribers will receive notifications as new TP-Link product reviews are posted. Goodbye and good luck.